What's up legends, LGG Alden here, today I'm back in the forest, alpha update 0.27 just released today, we got about 13 days till the next update, which would be about 2 weeks from now, that's actually really good guys as you can tell, but let's get right into this update, there's some pretty cool stuff, a lot of decorative stuff actually, so let's get right into it guys. One of the first major things they did guys, is if you go into your survival book, Looking through the contents, you'll actually realize they reorganized a lot of it. So they have the fires, the shelters, they have food and water. Now, all of this is a little more organized based on what it is. Not all random. It's a little spaced out better, titles better. So you have storage, you have all that custom building. They have all that. They have defensive structures all in the same area. They have elevated structures. So all the different treehouse related things, basic structures, utility structures, all the different stuff that you would need they kind of organized it a little bit better and I really think that's a good idea it was always a little clustered to find whatever you were looking for so that's great that they actually decided to kind of fix it up a little bit so a lot of this update has to do with decorations so basically getting a better apparel making your base a little cooler giving yourself some more style anything like that it's really cool some of the stuff they added but the first thing they added, so now if I was to kill this bunny, the picking it up, you get obviously a rabbit fur, you get its that, you get its meat, you also get a head. Now, as you can see, I picked up a little rabbit head. Now, it's kind of buggy, it looks like, the way that you actually pick it up. But with this head, you can actually build something very cool. Now, what you can build is called a head trophy. This head trophy is basically a way to say... Hey, I killed this creature, I'm going to show it off. So if you go into your survival book and you go into the decorations tab, you will actually see that there is the object head trophy. So with that, you can just place it on the wall basically like that. And gathering one stick and using the little head that you picked up or from whatever animal, you can create this. Now, it's a really cool way to show it off, like I said. Pretty much, oh, you killed something, that's awesome. Here's a good way to show it off. So look at this. You attach it onto there. Now look at, there's just a little tiny rabbit head. Of course, it's a little wimpy to put a rabbit head up. But you can use a lot of animals, guys. So to list them off, you can use a boar, crocodile, deer, lizard, goose, the rabbit, of course, raccoon, seagull, shark, squirrel, and tortoise. Now I think the coolest ones to probably do would probably be obviously a deer is kind of the original thing to do i would say a crocodile probably the shark i'd have to say is the coolest one putting a shark head on your wall i think that would really set you apart and make you look really awesome if somebody say you're playing multiplayer and somebody checks out your base i think that would be cool the next decorative thing you can do if you go back into them you can place down a rabbit skin. So as you can see, it's basically the same thing as a deer skin. You can put it down. It just looks a little different. Just looks like a rabbit skin instead of a deer. Just a little bit of a different color. Not really any change. It might even be a little bit smaller than the deer skin is because, of course, it's a smaller animal. But those are two of the major decorations things. There is one more awesome thing that I'll show you guys right now. So the last majorly important decoration related object would be the ceiling skull lamp. This lamp, it exactly acts the same as the skull lamp, just it's hanging from the ceiling. So it's primarily just another decoration object and also, as I said, it's a light. So it provides a source of light. Say you want to have ceiling. So say you have a roof or anything in your building or your custom building, anything like that. That would be the purpose of it, so you don't have to put it on the ground. You can get a little more creative with your lighting. You know, I think it's a cool idea. So it works exactly like the skull lamp. The only difference is instead of three sticks, you just need one cloth. So it's one cloth, one skull, and one tree sap. Now, to show this example, I am going to kind of put it like right here. Now, the weird thing about this that I have found, I have tested it out. It doesn't work on the bottom of any platform, just any. It has to be certain platforms. For instance, this one is the custom floors or wooden panels, I believe. 
So as you can see, you build it, and it just provides a source of light right there. So it's just a nice little hanging thing. Gives a nice amount of light, just the same as the skull lamp. I like it, I think it's really cool, and it's a good feature to have. They added some other stuff that is cave related. One of the things they added is a new map for caves. Now if I, I have it actually, if you press M it will open it. As you can see there is a map. Now I believe it, I'm not exactly sure how the map works. I believe that it does show you, it will show you different directions and as you explore it will kind of show more of the map, give you a little more viewing of it so you can actually see what you're doing. And I like that it has a little bit of a light because obviously most caves are dark so you cannot see, but that is what they added, which is really cool to have a map, so now you're not as likely to get lost in them. They also created some destroyable objects down in caves. Now you can destroy, obviously, if you can see, I just destroyed one right there. You can destroy, I don't know exactly, I guess there's four types of them. I believe they are stagomites. I might have pronounced that. I probably butchered that a little bit. But you can break them, there are, I believe, four different types is what it says in the update that you can use to break, just if they're in your way, so they could be blocking a path, maybe some sort of secretive path, now you can use your axe or any other object to break them. The next major thing I have not been able to find, I have searched probably for at least a, I don't even know how long, but a decent amount of time, guys, looking for it, trying to find it, searching through caves, searching through villages, anything, not yet able to find it, don't know where it is, but it is a new weapon that is a tennis racket. I've searched a lot of different spots, a lot of villages, looked through different caves, very hard to find it. If you guys can find it, tell me, look around, it's probably somewhere in the world, I have no idea. From what I know of, it is a object you can find somewhere laying around, I would say it's probably in one of the mutant statues or in their villages, but from all the ones that I checked, I could not find it. I do not know a lot about the new weapon, but it definitely is a weapon. So that means you can probably just use it to fight off creatures, do all of that. Maybe you could even use it for a tennis game. Who knows? That would be really cool, I think. That's practically the major things to this update, guys. There's not a lot, I think it's a lot of cool stuff though, a lot based on decoration like I said. Some of the littler things are not as big things that I didn't really get to. Stick markers as you can see right here, the only difference is it requires one more cloth, so that's two cloth, two sticks, and I believe two rocks. That might be a little different, I'm not sure, that's just off of a guess, but definitely not a huge change, just a little bit, just a little fixture to it. There is also a lot of AI fixes, a lot of audio fixes, a lot of balancing, a lot of multiplayer fixes. I'll put all of that in the description. It'll be to the log. It'll pretty much, you can click on it. There's be a link to the website and it'll give you all pretty much explanation, every little detail, all of that. Terrain dries twice as quick. So say it's raining, the terrain's all wet, anything. It'll actually dry twice as fast, which isn't really a huge change. A little different though. And holding a Walkman. So the Walkman is the cassette player. For anybody who doesn't know, holding it and playing it. So if you were to put a cassette in it and play it moving around, it will alert nearby enemies. So be careful with that. You don't want to give away your location. When doing that, you will. Crocodiles have a lower health. I do not know how much, but they're definitely lowered health. Probably not a lot, but just a little bit. Enough to make maybe a bit of a change. Fighting them a little bit easier. And yeah. That's it guys, not a lot, not a bunch of crazy major changes, I do like some of the stuff that they added though, a lot of changes they made, really good stuff as usual, we got about two weeks till the next update guys, so that's probably when the next time I'll make another video like this. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this, if this helped you guys, leave a like, subscribe, we appreciate when you guys do, thanks for watching, anything that I missed guys, comment below, tell me below, you guys find that tennis racket weapon? Tell me, give a decent description of where it is. I can probably put an annotation on the screen once somebody figures it out. That's it though, guys. Thanks for watching. Remember to be a legend, and I will see you all next time.